Hamilton, the Queen of the Kitchen, has died aged 94. The culinary trailblazer discovered the recipe for success through her legendary cookbooks found in almost every Australian home. Belinda Russell compiled this tribute. Long before today's crop of celebrity chefs... No fatty oils to cloud the natural taste of your cooking. There was Margaret. The busy housewife's dream. My whole life has been filled with Margaret Fulton, really. I mean, I, my... My first memories of, of, of it is my mum cooking out of her cookbook. A pioneer of the modern Australian palate, she took us all on a new culinary journey. The woman who put the spice in meat and three veg. She was so important at that time in Australia's life to show Australians that there was another path. It is more interesting doing something new than something you've done every day for 20 years. An inspiration to aspiring chefs, she sparked the cooking careers of many and along the way became a lifelong friend. Here's this book I bought as a teenager and I never got it signed and I took it over to her and she signed it and she said, you learned well. Margaret's passion for food surpassed only by her love for her family. Two beautiful people I've ever seen. We're in love. A single mum, she was a constant companion to daughter Suzanne. When she died, I was holding her hands. All through my childhood, those hands meant so much to me. Cooking, cutting, sewing. I just treasured those hands of hers that did so much and were, were just were so powerful. She was idolised by her granddaughters, who both became food writers, following in the footsteps of their beloved Gigi. We'll start on the whiskey soon, as she would have insisted. We've already bought some oysters for our dinner because that was her total favourite. I always like to be remembered as the cook uh, who, you know, believed in, in good food, it's good, simple food, you know. A national treasure, Margaret Fulton's legacy will live on. In our kitchens, on our bookshelves, and on our taste buds. Belinda Russell, Nine News.